Well, excited to be joined here via Microsoft Teams with Texas Tech head coach Matt Wells. Coach, thanks so much for joining us here uh, on PhiladelphiaEagles.com to talk about Eagles' fourth-round pick, Zach McPherson. Yeah, I appreciate you having me on. So let's talk about Zach because this is a player that arrived there uh, in college in, uh, at Texas Tech at the same time that you did, just about when you came over uh, as the head coach. What was it like kind of installing him as a starter from day one? He was a career backup uh, here locally with us in Penn State. Uh, what was it like, what were your first interactions with Zach? Yeah, first of all, uh, McPherson family and I go way back. Uh, coached his brother Emmanuel at uh, New Mexico probably 10 years ago. Um, and so had familiarity with the family, uh, helped in the recruiting process. Zach chose us over a couple other Big 12 schools. Um, hadn't really gotten on the field much at uh, Penn State. Be honest with you, limited video. Mm. Um, but uh, knew what kind of person he was, what kind of family he came from. Tremendous people, um, tremendous, uh, I know, parents and upbringing. So uh, getting Zach in here was good right out of the gate. Uh, he did a great job of really buying into what we were doing here on the field as well as in the weight room. He changed a bunch over two years. I mean, he developed himself. Um, his skill development got better, to be real frank with you. He played his best ball his second year. I think it's also kind of testifies to, to guys that are grad transferring like Zach that have two years mm -hmm. and they can uh, go through an off season and, um, and have a better second year. And Zach certainly did that. And, I think took advantage of his opportunity and and uh, the Eagles have recognized that a lot of other NFL teams did and he did well in his pro day so I uh, look forward to seeing what he's got uh, you know the next opportunity. Coach it's so interesting you talk about the previous relationship you had uh, with his family I feel like that's been a theme both college and in the NFL over the last year with the pandemic has been uh, how important those previous relationships are because the lack of exposures with players, uh, whether it's with recruiting or whether it's with the draft, free agency uh, here in the NFL, uh, just, I mean, you, you kind of spoke to it already, how important that previous relationship was with him and his family. Yeah, great, great point. Maybe the best point that we'll make on this whole interview, to be honest with you, um, because through the pandemic, um, this is how we interacted with scouts. Yeah. You know, um, personnel guys in the NFL. And we did here at Texas Tech, we did a monthly Zoom uh, with, a, uh, you know, representatives from almost every team and just updated them. Um, so with limited scouting ability, limited in-person um, evaluations in college and in the pros, I do think we all revert back to um, relationships. We revert back to coaches that we trust high school coaches that we trust, other college coaches, I, I would say the same probably um, in the NFL. And, and uh, you go back to previous relationships. Um, Sean, your head scout there, did a tremendous job, always does here in Lubbock um, and with us, with Dave Scholes, my strength coach, and I. I just think um, in times like this, I do think that stuff like that does matter. So it's a great point by you. Yeah, Sean Heinland uh, has been down in that area uh, for a long time. He's joined me on the Journey to the Draft podcast uh, multiple times. Coach, uh, when you get Zach on campus and you talked about, you know, just kind of hadn't played a ton, what were some of the traits that allowed him to, to find early success as he was still trying to hone in on that, uh, that cornerback skill, as you referred to? Yeah, I think before he honed in, just in, in terms of his, um, his footwork and his technique, um, and really changed in the weight room and bought into nutrition and, and our strength training was, I think the first thing was confidence. Mm. He's a confident young man. That's a confident family. Um, he's been playing ball, multiple sports for a long time. It's kind of ingrained in him. So I think the confidence thing that he came in, and first of all, you better have that yep. at corner, as we all know. But I think the confidence is what allowed him to play early on. Yes, he was talented, and yes, he had good athletic ability, but he really improved from his junior to his senior year quite a bit. Mm. And to me, like the when you talk about his athletic background, and uh, you mentioned that the confidence there, uh, playing corner. I mean, it's it's a lot. I mean, you got to deal with with failure uh, sometimes, especially uh, in that league. I mean, it's a passing league, as everybody knows. Uh, you're going to give up some big plays. But then you also have uh, Zach, who has that ability to take the ball away as well. Uh, were there cases where you saw, like, yeah, he's going to get beat one drive, and then he's going to come back, and he's going to be able to make that play. He's not going to go in the tank after giving up a play. Yeah, I certainly think in this league, in the Big 12, every Saturday you go up against an elite wideout. 
um, an elite quarterback, and there's always a really good play caller too. Mm. And so I think he's challenged every corner in this uh, in this league in the Big 12 is challenged every Saturday. Um, to have the confidence is important. To have a short memory is very important. Uh, learn from it and move on. And I think Zach displays all those characteristics. Yeah, I think that baseball background certainly comes in handy uh, oh. there as well uh, with all the failure that you deal with playing baseball. Coach, the, the last uh, part I wanted to bring up to you too as well, with Zach, that kind of stood out to me. You, number one, the, the position versatility. Uh, but then two, with RPOs, the quick slants, the, the glance routes, the corners, the DBs have to be able to tackle uh, in today's NFL now too. Uh, what did you see from Zach uh, in that arena coming forward towards the line of scrimmage? Yeah, he, he does have – he's got versatility. You know, we played him in the slot. We played him as a – you know, some people are calling it the nickel corner over the slot receiver. That's a position here um, in the Big 12 that you see in the NFL more and more um, guys in the NFL, the slot, quick, fast receivers. He can play that position. He's uh, – I think he's more than a willing tackler. He's an effective tackler. Um, it's not – you don't say that much about corners, but um, – Zach is, uh, he is very effective. He can go right through the hip. He, uh, he does a nice job with tackling and, um, you know, facing all the RPOs and that kind of, um, you know, philosophy in the Big 12, which is becoming more prevalent. I know in the NFL, uh, I think it would be an advantage to him as well. Well, Coach, you've been so generous with your time. Thanks so much for joining us and shedding some light into Zach McPherson and how he's going to make that transition here to Philadelphia. Best of luck through the rest of spring. Best of luck to you guys here in the fall. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll talk to you soon. Okay, thanks for having me on.